Literally thousands of teenagers have found themselves in the middle of nowhere, and a small expeditionary learning center in Mancus, Colorado has helped them get there. You're watching the Local News Network. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. Tucked away in Weber Canyon, about two miles south of Mancus, Colorado, a small sign on the side of the road points to big changes ahead. Deer Hill Expeditions has been taking teenagers on journeys of self-exploration through wilderness adventures in the canyons, rivers, and mountains of the Four Corners region, and through community service and cultural exchanges with local Indian tribes. Deer Hill founders Doug and Beverly Kaplan were two Colorado teachers who wanted to offer teenagers an experience that would help them develop a strong sense of self and the self-confidence to serve their families and communities through interactions with nature. In 1983, they purchased a historic homestead surrounded by 160 acres south of Mancus. And in 1984, they offered their first wilderness expedition. The only accommodations at their new home were an old farmhouse and a few teepees scattered in the fields. Since then, the Deer Hill Base Camp has grown to include a community center, a lodge, dining room, community showers, and dorms. All the typical accommodations of a Colorado summer camp. But the programming is anything but typical. Expeditionary groups of 12 to 15 teenagers ranging in age from 13 to 18 explore the wilderness through a three to four week journey that includes a raft trip on the Colorado, Green or San Juan rivers, a week long community service program at the Navajo Nation, Zuni or Hopi Pueblos, and a backpacking trip in the San Juan mountains. We're not about like doing the gnarliest rivers or climbing the biggest peaks. It's really an expedition where our participants get to know a little bit more about themselves. Um, and so uh, we find that through wilderness and service, that's the best way that we know how to do that. And so wilderness, there's all sorts of like, you know, from learning how to cook in the backcountry to carrying your own weight on your pack to um, understanding where you are in the Southwest and navigating and then working within a group and having fun but also overcoming some challenges, like you get to know yourself. One of Deer Hill's hallmarks is its emphasis on learning from the day's challenges through self-reflection, a process that occurs during talking circles led by trained wilderness guides. Each expedition maintains a four to one ratio of students to adults. And the second circle is what Jordan was talking about is a little bit more like from the heart. Um, and that's kind of something that we live by too, is like speak from the heart, and listen with Let's, respect. Mm -hmm. And so all of our participants get a chance to sit in that second circle and a topic is posed to the group by the instructors. Um, the simplest one being, what was your rose of the day? What was your thorn of the day? And what was the bud of your day? Um, and so the thorn, right, being what was not so great? What are you nervous about? The, the rose being like, what was your highlight? Was and then, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And then the bud being like, what are you excited for? Or, you know, what are you looking looking towards? And so that gives our participants a chance to speak from the heart and for everyone else in the circle to listen with respect. In 1998, the Kaplans established the Deer Hill Foundation to raise funds for scholarships to ensure that teenagers from every walk of life would have an opportunity to experience the wilderness and learn more about themselves. Nearly 80% of participants receive financial support, and the foundation partners with other youth development organizations throughout the country to offer programming to students as diverse as inner city students who've never seen a mountain to Asian students who've never seen snow. Osprey Backpacks, headquartered in Cortez, offers a scholarship for local students in the region. Over the years, literally thousands of students have learned more about themselves through a Deer Hill expedition. And today, parents who attended Deer Hill in the 80s and 90s are dropping off their own kids to become transformed by the cultures and environments of the Four Corners region. What our participants speak to a lot, like once they come home or what their parents speak to as well is like just this like stronger sense of self and like sense of place in the world and like being able to spend time in nature and just like really let go. Like they don't have their cell phones, you know, like this is a big thing for our teenagers these days is like leaving their cell phones at base camp. They're like, holy cow, like what the heck am I going to do without my cell phone for three weeks? And then you give it back to them and they're like, 
oh, I feel so weird in my hand, <laughs> you know, but like disconnecting from some of those like social anxieties kids feel so often today um, for that time. And then being being in a safe space with with family by the end and like what that feels like for them to come back into their community and know that know that they're important and know that they're seen and know that they're heard um, and that they have this this place in this world and they really have something to offer. Deer Hill begins its 37th season of expeditions on March 23rd and will continue through next October. Local students are encouraged to apply and scholarship applications are available online at DeerHillExpeditions.com. Thanks for watching this edition of Local News Network. If you'd like to see this story again, visit our website where you can sign up to have us deliver your news directly to your inbox. I'm Wendy Graham Settle for the Local News Network.